So I'll, I'll kind of walk you guys for non-operators. I'll walk you guys what I'm going to do here because I don't want to do it while I'm dropping stone in the hole. Um, these, this is super sandy material, which is prone to caving in, so you have to be a little more careful going up to the hole. Um, whenever you go up to a hole, unless you have a specific reason you need to have the bucket low, if you take your bucket arms or your boom arms and raise them up to where they're almost parallel to the ground, that's going to give you your maximum reach. And you're not talking a little bit, you're talking like a foot and a half or so. So it keeps you back further away from the hole. So that's number one, you're going to notice me raise my bucket up. The second thing you're going to notice is I'm not going to be flicking the bucket. Um, if this were a harder packed material or if the hole was a little more shallow, you would see me flick a little bit to get that material across the trench better. Um, but in sandy conditions, that's a great way to cave your bank in because you've got a lot of weight hanging out over those front tires. And if you're at the edge, that's a great way to cave it in. So just a couple tips when you're doing anything around a trench, especially with sandy material, just be super careful, be nice and delicate. Um, so that's that's a, a couple tips for you if you've never run a loader before. So once they get this pipe set, you'll see a guy get on each end to hold it in place because we're using plastic pipe today and it's super light, it'll move all over the place when you start dropping this one by three, this real heavy material in. So you'll see the guys get on each side, they'll wave me over. And the key is you want to drop it as much over top of the pipe as you can. The idea being the material will evenly spread around the pipe and keep it from moving. All right, he's waving me over. Also gonna go nice and slow because this stuff bounces like crazy off of this plastic pipe. <laughs> and uh, so I'm going to go nice and easy because I do have guys in the hole. as you're going into the pile instead of pushing the pile that way every time you go into it so it's a great way to not chase your pile and see before I even get into the middle of the pile my bucket's already full and I haven't pushed any material off the back edge so you will see a lot of good operators doing that they'll back drag before they actually go into a smaller pile now something like this obviously you wouldn't need to that material's not going anywhere especially with that one by three because it likes to scoot you'll back drag about a bucket's worth out of it and then go up to it, you should be fine.
I've only run one loader in my life that this hasn't been true for, so I'm gonna say 99% of loaders. If you look at the side of the bucket here, you've got the kind of top lip, and then there is a flat section. That flat section is parallel to your cutting edge on the bottom of the bucket. Now, your cutting edge might be worn a little non-parallel, so you have to adjust for that, but that's how you can tell without any sort of bucket level indicator or any fancy software, uh, that's how you can tell when you're level with your bucket. And that's what most of your operators are going off of. up there and everything. 